Hey, what's up, guys? This is Crafty Fox of the Minecraft Military Force, and today we're going to be building the Northrop Grumman E2 Hawkeye. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this aircraft for quite a long time, but the only reason why this video is possible is because Owen Bross has sponsored this video and commissioned this aircraft on my request because I know this is an essential aircraft, and uh, yeah, it's our first AWACS. Uh, system aircraft, so that's pretty cool. It's basically an American carrier capable airborne early warning aircraft which detects and tracks targets with its rotating radar dome. So, this thing on the top, it actually does rotate, spins around, and that's how it works. This specific one is an E2C variant, it's part of VAW Squadron 123, and its nickname is the Screw Tops, and that's why they have their iconic. You know, screw top symbol right on the top of it, which is probably like the coolest E2 design. I just really like it. So these are used on American aircraft carriers by the U.S. Navy. So it does have the nose gear, which can attach to the shuttle uh, for catapult takeoffs. And also in the rear, there is a tail hook for recovery on landing. So that's why it's carrier capable. So definitely when we finish the Nimitz tutorial, you can add this to the aircraft carrier. And here is the folded wings version of it just to make it more compact for storage. So this aircraft does use twin turboprop propellers. Uh, this using the newer one where it has eight blades. It's called the MP2000 propeller system. So it reduces vibrations and they have the ability to remove individual blades instead of having to remove the whole entire thing which makes maintenance a lot easier so this is going to be a modern design maybe you might see some other e2 hawkeyes which are really old in other countries and they only have four blades but this one is a lot cooler but yeah let's go take a look at the rest of the aircraft so here in the front got a black tip nose here's cockpit and a bit of black on the underside of that then there's a number here, this red line, it goes down like that. And you'll see some underbody detailing. They just have a bunch of antennas because, you know, this is like sort of like electronic warfare. Uh, then over here on this side, there's like this little black hole thing. I don't know what that's for, but we add that on one side. Um, and then this is a U.S. Navy roundel. And then it says U.S. Navy right here. And in the back, we have this pretty unique uh, stabilizer system like that makes like a V shape and then these things are all slanted and I am using iron trap doors for that but if you can't you can use like birch so it's not going to be a real issue another red line here and then here is the engine um, and then we have the wheel which comes out like that and these are supposed to be the landing gear covers and on top there's an air intake here and one thing I noticed about the E2 Hawkeye it actually like makes a bump on the front like the head of it and then it goes dips down right here so that's why I made it dip Got some more detail, and this is how they attach the radar dome right there. On the wing, we also got U.S. Um, Air Force markings. And then on this side, some more writing there. And then here is a look at the folded wings version of it, which I did use the uh, iron trap doors here in the back just to make it skinnier and not touch the rest. Uh, but yeah, that's how it looks like. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the build. Again, a huge thanks to Owen Bross for commissioning this build because otherwise this video is not possible. YouTube ad revenue alone cannot sustain this channel doing tutorial videos. So I do appreciate Owen Bross for coming through. So for the dimensions, it's gonna be nine blocks tall, 27 blocks long, and the wingspan is 37 blocks wide. If you do the folded wings version of it, it's gonna be 17 blocks wide. All right, so let's start production. So first off, we'll place a polished blackstone brick block down, birch fence on top, birch fence scape behind it, four blocks long, smooth stone, and then upside down and side stairs here. Iron trap door, dark oak trap door at the tip, close it up. And then we'll add in polished blackstone brick slab here, two nether brick slabs, and then three blocks tall here smooth stone then make this part four blocks long and then over here smooth stone slab is three blocks long a brick slab and then another slab here direct wall slab inside wall two slabs direct wall slab inside wall two slabs now on top we're going to add in all these blocks here including the black concrete and uh, smooth stone Fill all this area in just like how you look how it appears and it's going to be an site wall here stone slab here birch fence um and site stairs and then built this part it's going to be the radar dome like the middle part 
going to be uh, snow. This is like six layers tall. And warp slabs and an iron trapdoor at the edge right there. The back here is smooth stone slab and then stone slab five blocks long. And then there's going to be another five of smooth stone slab. Fill in all this section as how it appears. Redstone torch here in the back and yeah, it's just one layer so both sides. There is no both sides. There's only one side. <laughs> Alright, so for layer number two. By the way, this is asymmetrical. Alright, so on this side, there's going to be two andesite walls here. Then at the tip of the nose, we want to add in glass pane and wall right there. Extend the cockpit out like this. And then this smooth stone is going to be uh, 15 blocks long. And then we'll make the round hole here as it appears. And then the stairs in front of this black concrete for the windows. On, only on this side, the other side doesn't have it. And then you'll just build up all of these blocks here as you can see. Candle, wall, etc. The buttons and uh, you know this is going to be bamboo slab, daylight detector. The back this is going to be two black glass panes and light gray glass pane buttons like that and we'll start to make the stabilizer here with these four slabs on both sides. And then here's the other side. Again this is different because it doesn't have that J-light detector on this side. And you just build it as you pretty much see here. I just got rid of that trap door. It's not supposed to be there. And uh, yeah that's pretty much it. So for the next step we're going to add in this red stripe. Very thin so we'll need to use a banner for that. And we actually need light gray banner, light gray dye, and red dye. So I'll go inside the loom, light gray banner, red dye, make it going across the middle vertically. And light gray dye, I'm going to put it on one half of it, just like that. And the other side will just do the opposite way. So it looks like this. And you'll just add this where we have this red stripe here. All right, and then it's going to be chained down here. And then black glass pane and light gray glass pane. It's only on this side, by the way. And then we'll start to build out the wings a bit. So, you know, two by two here, and then two here, then two here, two by two again. Just like that. One on the side of that. And then the back, here's what that looks like. And if you can't use iron trap doors uh, vertically, just use a birch trap doors for a replacement substitute. And here's what the other side looks like. Oak bun right there. Blackstone bun underneath. Alright, so after we do that, move on to the next layer. So the next layer, um, we'll just extend the wing out a little bit. One block. Like that. It's supposed to be a number. And then we'll start to build the wheel. This wheel is going to be right underneath this stone slab. Go down. Polish blackstone brick block. Slab on top. Wall in front. And some button in the inside part. Don't put it on the outside part yet. Alright, so after we do that, uh, we just build up the rest of the stabilizers here, the slabs. Same thing on this side. Just like that. Alright, so for the next step, we're going to be building the engine pretty much. Uh, so it's going to look like this. You just build these two slabs here, then Everything you see here, and the, we start to build the propeller, black concrete with a skull skull, I'm sure. If you play Minecraft, you already know everything. And then the fence is right down there. We also are starting to build the um, landing gear cover, so it's going to be a red glass pane and then a light gray glass pane. Alright. And then we'll finish up the stabilizer in the back going to be this pattern here, trapdoor, so it kind of goes on diagonal like this on both sides. And don't forget in the back of this is going to be a dark oak trapdoor. Yeah, it should be on both sides. Like that. And then we'll start to build up the radar dome. So here's what it looks like. It's going to be like five here, then one, one, and then five. And you also want to make the start of this pattern here where we're using warp slabs. Like that. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this one. 
All right, next step, we'll finish up the rest of the propeller, make this pattern here. And we'll add in the landing gear cover here and then the same red stripe, but we're gonna cover up the top one third of it with light gray. And then some buttons on the side of this. All right. And then for the other side, here's what that looks like. I think it was pretty much the same thing. All right, and then for the top bar, we're gonna make the rest of the screw top here. So just copy this pattern. All right, so after that, this is where we're gonna split off the tutorial because of the wing, whether, whether you wanna make it folded or you wanna make it out. All right, so let's make the regular wings out version of it first, so. All right, so first we're gonna make the wings out version of it. So pretty much what we're gonna do, build out the wings. Just as you see here, it's gonna be three slabs here. Then this, make an L shape over here and then fill all this area in. And we want to polish blackstone brick slab on the outer edge. So it's gonna be like three here, then another four here, and then dark oak trapdoor is four here. Iron trapdoor at the very edge, two blocks wide. And then make this L shape and then right there. Then fill the rest in smooth stone slab here, goes down diagonally and then we just go back. All right, and then the other side, it's almost the exact same thing, except that over here we have this brick slab and then a polished blackstone uh, slab that's for the roundel only on this side. That's one thing you gotta pay attention when you're making like US military aircraft, they're usually different wings uh, designs because of the markings. So on this side, it's easy, it's just polished blackstone pressure plate, three of them spaced apart like this, and carpets on the end here, and then black carpet on the front end like that. And then the other side, you know, black carpet on the ends, light gray carpet in the tip. And then for the roundel, it's just a birch button and redstone wire. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the E2 Hawkeye. Now to make it with the wings folded version of it, go over here, Go at the bottom of this, and we'll make this uh, two blocks wide and four blocks tall. That, and then another three in the back of this. And then for this pattern, uh, this is gonna be four walls here, three slabs and a site underneath, then three and a site slabs here. And then uh, polished blackstone wall spaced apart, so it's three of them, and then and a site walls on top. And a wall in the back of this. And then there's gonna be a high trap door here or, or trap door. And then this part's just a two by four of iron trap doors with light gray banners, just to make it look gray. <laughs> and the other side, we're gonna do a similar process, except this part's gonna be a brick wall and a polished black stone wall. The rest is pretty much the exact same thing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the E2 Hawkeye in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this design. Thanks a lot to Own Bros for commissioning this build, making this video possible, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.